not going, sorry. this year even at the national level I know he's nationally ranked and uh, you know he's been on the scene for a couple of years uh, and he's had a tremendous amount of success so uh, again this is a great matchup here at 170 pounds he, Xavier Montalvo actually spent most of the year competing at 160 and again had trouble with uh, some weight issues and uh, the decision was made to have him compete for the second half of the year at 170 pounds. A sex line might be different from a lot I sometimes believe kids do better when they don't cut weight. They're happier, they're healthier, and, you know, they tend to go out and maybe do things a little bit better instead of having to worry about your weight all the time. And you've mentioned at least two or three kids from Montini who I think that's yeah. applied to, where they said, hey, this weight, weight cutting stuff, maybe is not what's best for me. Right. And they've had a lot of success with the weight classes they've been at. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I talked about Dylan Duncan earlier today, the state champ at 120 pounds, and, uh, you know, he lost, uh, I think he was... Uh, lost five out of six matches at 113 pounds. Now, obviously, uh, the caliber wrestler that he was, there was something wrong with him. So the decision was made, and, and he made an adjustment, and, you know, it was a great uh, end-of-the-year finish for him. And I know Xavier was in the same boat competing at, uh, you know, early in the year uh, at 160 pounds. But nonetheless, uh, again, here, Schultz does a great job yeah. again through this period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Just a tremendous job so far, and again, set of wrestlers. You know, you're coming in, you're knowing you're wrestling a defending state champion. you got to get that boy mentally ready to go out and say, hey, you can't compete with this person. You got Here's what you have to do, and you got to get him to believe that he can. Right. Well, like like you mentioned, well, there's a nice return yeah. there by Montalvo. But well, you mentioned, you know, last uh, last match, the Warner boy from Washington. You know, that's how you can tell that that young man is going to be special because of the attitude he brought to that championship match. He wasn't happy to be there. You know, he wasn't just content with being on the state championship match on the big stage. And it doesn't look like uh, Schultz is either. He's, no, he's ready to win. here to win and compete. And he bailed out out of bounds in one minute and 32 seconds left. And Ryan Dolan's the coach over there at Tinley Park. And we mentioned already Montini, Adriel Martinez, with all the kids they've had in the finals. Well, a lot of guys panic in this position right? and they kind of blow the advantage they have. And he's got to take his time and make sure that he sets this up right. Schultz wants to get that arm out, but he does there. Good, good call. Yeah. And bails out and gets the escape. So Schultz will lead one to nothing. Just over a minute left in the second period. Yeah. the knee down there far enough. 
his two points right under 10 seconds. Yeah, again, he talked all night, Kevin. Huge. Big score there by Montalvo. Base out on the start there. Sarch using that long body with his leverage. Check his right hand there in perfect position to right. control that far leg. Comes back to a front. Again, here, I'm, we've talked about this before with Schultz. How long are you going to stay in this position? Do you think you can turn him? At some point in time, you're going to cut him and try and take him down to get the tie. Looks like he's going to cut him there. A minute and 25 left in the match. Three to one. Favor on top of But again, if you're a, a sophomore and you're in a state championship match and you're against a defending state champ and you're in a, a two-point match in the third period, that's where you want to be. Exactly. He's in very good position here. He's short in the match and made a oh, nice shot. He's going to be out of bounds. I always hate to see a boy waste a shot like that when there's really no way he was going to score because he spun to get behind him. He would have gone out of bounds. His level. Nice change of level. And there's going to be the two. He's got the leg side yet, so he's in perfect position right there. Now again, he's got to take his time here and try to work this position. That's what he's thinking right now. He doesn't want to panic. Right. He goes long up to the shoulder, and now he's going to get back points. And that was just a little meanness there. He just pulled that shoulder in really hard.